Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA, and today I want to give you a bit of an overview of the layout and usage of Shipmo 3D. Shipmo 3D is actually a collection of separate programs, each which calculate different information that's useful for constructing a ship model and assessing the seakeeping performance. We're going to use the generic frigate here as an example, so you can see a picture of the entirely constructed ship model of the generic frigate. When we look at the project overview page, you can see, as with all projects uh, and the applications within it, a summary of the ship information here, ship length, uh, water density, and basic parameters. On the project summary page, you can see the other application data that's associated with it right now. You can see I've got panel hall information here, rad diff, and build ship. I haven't added any uh, slosh tanks. But we have some basic uh, results here for a Freemo, uh, that's the time domain maneuvering uh, application, Seakeep Regular, this is ship motions in regular waves, sinusoidal waves, and Seakeep Random, which is used for uh, irregular response. When we look at panel hull, this application here is for making the actual hull mesh for the radiation and diffraction calculations. You can see the panel hull here. There's no ship appendages on here yet. The output of this is then used for in rad diff for the radiation and diffraction calculations. These radiation and diffraction calculations and the database of results are added along with viscous hull model uh, com components like foils, skags, rudders, etc., to make the uh, the the aggregate ship model. And that's what you can see here in uh, in panel hull. Sorry, in plot ship. Here you go. There's all the appendages here. Once you've built the ship model in build ship, you can check the response of the ship in regular seas using C keep regular. You can see that there's some some calculated RAO values here already. Seakeep Random is used for checking the response in a wave spectrum. There's a bunch of different wave spectrum options here. And some motion RAOs uh, already calculated for a variety of forward speeds and a variety of sea directions as well. Freemo is another application. This is for doing time domain analysis of the ship in maneuvering scenarios. There's lots of maneuver data that you can set for changing rudder and forward speed uh, values, RPM values on the propellers to see what happens in the maneuver. So it's just this is just meant as an overview to show you a few of the basic applications and most commonly used applications and to get you an idea of the kinds of things you can do in Shipmo 3D. Thanks for watching.